welcome before you say anything how do you find this place stumble upon it okay unlikely we move with a very small footprint as to not be discovered obviously but my associate came across you on the fence Uh, our calculations say there's probably 40 or 50 holdouts in the entire region, including you. Are you with the other factions or are you running solo? Think about your answer wisely, my friend. We may know a little bit more about you than we lean on. Okay, well, he also told me that you came with quite a few items, thinking you're going to buy your way in here. Okay. Don't play dumb with me, I've seen this before. There's a reason why we're still alive and most people aren't. Okay, just making sure we're on the same page. made my mind up about you yet. Maybe we can have a conversation. I could maybe treat that wound. Maybe, if you've got a couple items you can spare. I'm open for a barter. Obviously, some of the things you gave my associate to check at the fence there are of great value. None more important, obviously, than you keeping that arm attached to your body. How long has that been effective for? Couple weeks, okay. So here's the deal. I can give you all your supplies back, turn you out, you can head on. Maybe the next camp will help, maybe they won't. Maybe you'll get attacked before you get there, I don't know. It's a coin toss. Or you can come off a lot of those items, all of them, Really, and in return for that, I can maybe, depending on how I'm feeling, heal your arm for one, and I don't know, maybe hook you up with a couple items to send you on your way. Okay, sounds good. Uh, well, I guess the first thing we should probably do is uh, go over the items because I don't want. Your arm getting fixed, and then you having second opinions on whether or not you want to barter with me. So let's go ahead and check out the stuff you brought. Okay. I'm going to ask you where you got this stuff to. Okay. All right. Uh, the, the first thing I saw was this drive. Usually we don't see this kind of stuff on anyone but the military. Tech gear. If you catch my drift, it's not formal anymore. They've kind of done their own thing, but you get what I'm saying. You found it in a heli crash. Okay. See, this could be valuable for me. Because it's probably got information on it. And information is currency these days. Yeah. So maybe this leads me to a armory or ration hold up, something like that. It can be very valuable for me. So I'm going to have my guy check this out, okay? This might buy you quite a few points if there's information I can use on here. Okay, I'll put this down. The next item I saw that you acquired... this optic. And it seems like it has a battery working. Well, 
Where'd you get this? I need you to tell me the truth. Same helicopter crash. Interesting. Now we come across some of these ourselves, but they never have working batteries. It's even got the mount and the screws attached still. Okay, you're doing pretty well for yourself. We can use this. And then I couldn't help but notice this. See one of these in a long time. The X three hundred. It is. Oh god. Okay. Now you're talking. And the light works still. If you are, we'll find them. Solo. Okay. okay. I have no reason to not believe you yet. But let me find you lying to me. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, big problem. But this is, this is awesome, actually. Like a better word. It's just really nice. Most of our guys, you know, sit around. They do patrols, but they're not really bringing a lot back, if you catch what I'm saying. This, this, this is promising. We might just have a spot for you yet. Play it cool, though. This is our audition. I'm actually going to use this to look at your arm. How'd you fight your way through here? A knife. Okay. Unlikely. But okay. That's a pretty sharp looking rifle. You mind if I take a look at it? for these things. Out of batteries, out of ammo. Yeah, that's that's the downfall of this whole world thing going on right now. Everyone's got the tools, no one's got the the juice, for lack of better words. 
batteries, ammunition, gun oil, uh, tools, stuff that no one thinks about. So you did a good job preparing yourself for the end days, but I mean, at the same time you didn't because this might as well be a paperweight for you at this point. That's the bag. that's your bag of ammo there. Nine mil. Okay. Gotcha. This is part of the helicopter crash too. This stuff comes rusted up. That's got to be 150, 200 rounds. Okay. Here's what we'll do. I'll get that arm back. some antibiotics, not a lot enough to probably get you out of the woods, figuratively speaking. And uh, I have a few items I'll barter with you with, make some trades. Uh, in return for this, I'm going to have you stick around for a little while, okay? We got hot food, hot water, some solar electricity. Don't get too comfortable. This is still basically if you make it out of there with the arm. Your auditioning phase. If you lose the arm, I can't. I can't have you. You're just you're you're a liability at that point. Fair. Okay. All right. So let me get my medical supplies. Get going here. We'll check your. And I'll show you some of the stuff I'll uh, trade. I'm gonna let you keep all the other stuff. I'm really more interested in the hard drive. Since you brought this, it's only fair I give you some items in return. Most camps would patch your arm, take your stuff, and send you home, but we gotta rebuild around here. So. Emergency compression bandage. Ah, here we go. Aluminium splint. Bandages, disinfectant wipes. Some combat gauze. But we keep these for the more serious injuries. Okay. Oh, 
Well, since you don't have a sucking chest wound, we're not going to use any compression. It's just your arm. I don't even want to use any compression bandages. I think I'm just going to wipe that off with some sterile wipes. Treat it with some uh, antibiotics. And then uh, tape it up and then probably, depending on if the bone is damaged, broken, rather, I'll put this aluminum split on there. It's going to take you some time to heal, but I got enough antibiotics to get you by. So. How's that feel? Yeah, no, it's pretty bad. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. But I imagine you'll live. If I didn't have the antibiotics, I would say you're not gonna live. You'll probably get an infection, get in your bloodstream, go to your brain. Be all over for you. Came to the right place. Now if that bleeds through tonight, we're going to have to stitch it up, but all we have for that is fishing string, so try not to let that bleed through. Be mindful of rolling around on it and stuff. 
I would say just sleep on your back, and if you catch yourself turning over, uh, don't. Okay, let's see here. That's all we have left of this. Antibiotic. Not much. And we don't have any needles. And if we did, they wouldn't be sterile. So what's the point of you uh, using them anyways? I'm gonna pop the top off this. And I'm just gonna give you a, a quick little douse of it, okay? Right into the wound. We'll see how that looks in a couple days. All right, now that we got you all bandaged up, let's take a couple items here that you can have for bringing me this drive. I'm gonna show you one, two, three, four, five or six things. You pick two, that's all I can do for you. I have here is a bowl carrier group. I'm not sure how long you've been running that AR for. It looks pretty rough though. This is a brand new one. find these very often out in the wild, especially not new. They'll extend the life of your rifle quite a bit. Now, if that's not something you're interested in, Sierra match ammo for that AR. I've got two boxes. I'll give you one and another item where you can take two and just call it a day, but here you go.
much ammunition. You just don't find this stuff out in the wild anymore. Like I said, I've got two boxes of that. So I'll give you one, or you can take both and call it a day. Probably want to see what else I've got too, because I know that you mentioned your batteries were shot on some of your stuff. Allow me to indulge you. Now the little flat ones that go inside the red dots. So I could do two batteries of your choice, one box ammo, uh, four batteries, no ammo. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Also, I've got a couple more things. transparency. It's not a secure uh, calm. It's a bow thing. It's cheap. But you can use it to pick up on what people around you are doing. Scan stations, pick up on hot comms. Could do drops on people using this. Uh, they can triangulate your reception on here, so stay away from uh, talking on it, but um, you know, for eavesdropping, good, good to have. And it's charged, I wouldn't do you like that. So. Last but not least. you hang out. Might even bring you some food. Think about that offer. Think about those offers. In return for fixing your arm, saving your life. I'm taking all that stuff you just showed me and I'll also trade you a few items here. Okay, so think about it. Don't think too hard. You need to get some rest. I'm sure you've drained yourself getting here. Okay, well, don't mention it. Like I said, don't try anything. Okay. All right. I'll get some sleep. Well, to be completely transparent, I'm glad that we ran across you. You seem like you might be able to help us once we get that arm fixed up. I've been buff and gruff, but it is nice to see a new face at the camp. Okay, my friend. Well, get you some sleep. 
We'll visit back in the morning. All right, then.